Hi everyone, this is Russ with IOLINE Customer Service. This video is going to show you how to set up the crystal press for your first design, uh, how to set the machine up itself, and then how to set up a CorelDRAW file in order to bring it into Crystal Studio and make a design on the machine. So the first thing we need to do is install the C-Stick, if it's not already installed. Uh, make sure that the airline tubing uh, is plugged in all the way. Uh, and that's usually supposed to stick out the front, the way it's shown here. The fiber optic cable should be pushed all the way into the connector at the upper left corner of the head and then tightened down. Uh, everything uh, should be nice and tight, not loose at all. Uh, let's put the wheel in. You want to undo the clamp here on the bowl, lift up the arm, and slide the wheel down onto the spindle and turn until it drops. And then put on the thumb screw and we're set. Now you just need to fill the bowl with stones. I recommend only filling up to the crease on the inside of the bowl. Uh, any more than that and the stones kind of pile up and it causes a lot of upside down stones. So once you close the clamp, the wheel starts to turn and everything is ready to go. We're going to do a quick little bitmap trace uh, to see how easy it is to go from CorelDRAW designing all the way to placing this rhinestone design on the crystal press. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up CorelDRAW. Whichever version you have will work fine for this because they haven't really changed their interface since uh, for quite a while. Uh, the next thing we want to do is import our bitmap. So click File, Import, and then locate the picture that you want to trace. And then click on the page somewhere so it places it. And then we're going to resize it just to make it fit on the page better. And to do this resizing style, uh, I'm holding down Shift while I'm dragging at a corner. And this basically changes everything the same all the way around. Okay, next we're going to zoom in on it so we can actually see what we're tracing. So draw a box around it using the zoom tool. Zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, and the tool that I use is called the Bezier tool. And that essentially lets you put points down and things. Um, but we're going to go into simple wireframe mode first because it turns everything kind of gray and it lets you see the design a little better. So the Bezier tool essentially lets you pick points and what I do is I click and drag which drags a handle and that lets me make the curve for the line that I'm tracing around the heart. And if you can follow my points here you can see that each point that I make is a certain distance away depending on how curvy it is before that, uh, straight lines, of course, you can just click and land and not drag a handle. Uh, now for this design, since it's symmetrical, I'm simply going to duplicate the right side by hitting Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. And then that gets, basically brings another copy of it right on top of the other one. Now I'm going to horizontally mirror that design so that it's uh, the other way. And then scooch it over so it's a little closer to the end points. And then we're going to zoom in really close to those control points at the ends just to make sure that uh, the, the ends are kind of touching each other. Okay, so once we get that moved in there, I'm going to hold down Shift and click on the second line and then come up here to Combine. And this will combine both both sides together, which will allow us to select just the node at the tip or at that viewpoint. If you right click on the node, click join, and that puts those two nodes together. So now it makes it one shape. Now we have to zoom out to see the entire design again because we have to zoom in on the point down at the bottom because that's our second node. We do the same thing. We draw a line or a box around the nodes, right click on it, join, and then I'm going to grab this and just move it down to where the bitmap shows that the point is. Ok, 
Okay, and then we're going to zoom out to the object. All right. So there's our heart. Basic trace, very simple. Let's go back to enhanced with overprints mode in view so you can see the color. Now I'm going to click on the red heart, that's the one I got off the internet, and delete it. Just hit the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, and at this point, let's zoom to the page because I want to move this down to the lower left corner of my page in Corel. This is your origin point on any machine that we make. Now, because Crystal Studio doesn't like black as a color, what we're going to use is blue or cyan. So if you right click on the color, it will turn that outline color that color. Like I said, Crystal Studio doesn't like black very much, so we try to use a different color. All right, now let's try to ex export this. So go File, Export, and put it in a location where you can find it again. And I've named this Heart. Make sure Selected Only is checked. Make sure PLT HPGL Plotter File is the Save As Type in the box. And then hit Export. Now on this next window, we want to click on the Page tab and just make sure that says bottom left. And on the Advanced tab, your curve resolution says zero. And none of these boxes are checked. And the simulated fill says none. Otherwise, it will not work. All right, as soon as we hit OK, let's go into Crystal Studio. And we'll simply click on the Open File box or icon. There's our heart. Just click on it and hit open. And our design is now in the bottom left corner. Uh, if we click on the zoom tools, we can zoom in on it and see it a little better. Now on the layer menu, we simply click layer visible. And then pick a bowl, whichever bowl you have stones in, and pick the size you want. 10SS is good for this. And there's our finished design. Now click the Go button, and you'll see the red sending design show up. As soon as that stops, you know, it goes away, you will end up seeing the green icon on the bottom right corner start to move. That means the machine is running. And as you can see here, the machine starts running. Now we're placing our design in the heart shape that we designed in Corel.